Hey guys, welcome back. This is Jesse Clark with Big Business Look on a Small Business Budget. And today I want to talk to you about this program I use called Wave Apps. And I've been using it for a couple years now. It's free besides the fact that, you know, you get your the fees that come along with the payment processing. But I use this Wave Apps for quotes and invoices and receipts and accounting, the end of year reports for my taxes and I set up products, I, I really love it. And so today I'm just gonna kind of get into the program, how to show you kind of the back end, what it looks like and how to set up a, a quick invoice, uh, quotes, things like that. So um, hang tight and I'll be right back. Okay, so here is Wave Apps and you can see a new feature on the front page here, it's bank payments which it's a cheaper transaction processing fee but you can take money straight from your clients bank account they can um, choose your clients can choose this option when you send them an invoice if you have it activated so first things first today I'm going to go through and show you how to set up um, products and then number two I'm going to show you how to create an invoice Number three, I'm gonna show you how to set up a quote so you can turn that into an invoice. I'm gonna show you what the receipts feature is all about. And last but not least, five, I'm gonna show you what the reports is so you can use that to manage your write-offs and your expenses and all your finances and use those reports whenever you need them, um, specifically at the end of the year for your taxes like I do. So, I'm already logged in. So I go to my dashboard, and in order to get all the financials um, going, you need to actually uh, connect a bank account. So your all the transactions you make through your bank with your debit card or whatever will show up here and be able to track, Wave will be able to track those. So first thing, let's go in, number one, and set up a product. So you're just gonna go to sales and you're gonna come down here and click on products and services. And you can see all the products that I have for my clients. I've set them all up. So when I go to create an invoice, I just boom, choose it, send it off. <clears throat> and you can also do uh, discounts and things like that, which I'll show you once I get into the uh, invoice. So to add a new product, you just go up here and it's really self-explanatory. You can use to um, add sales tax to your your products or services um, click this if you want to sell this and then you can actually click on the buy this if you want to allow this product or service to be added to bills so for example if you want to pay your Cox bill or your cable bill you can actually pay those bills through your wave apps you can just pay everything right through here I don't use this feature but it is available to you so that is the product add a product so once you have your product set up, you can just go straight over here into invoices. And I don't have any pending or any drafts or anything right now, but uh, if you go to my all invoices, you can see all the invoices I've had and track and um, modify those. So what I'm gonna do is just go to create an invoice. I can add a customer. Here's all of the customers that I, that I have that are work with you know um, consistently so invoice number just fill this out you can add an item and this is where you add the product that you just created so let's just say I'm going to do an um, quick block someone wants some work done I charge them 59 bucks and what's cool is you can go to add an item and you can go here to I have it set up a customer loyalty discount and then you can just change that it's it's not a discount option, but what you do is just put the negative sign in front of it, the minus sign, and that actually subtracts it that you can see here. So you can go in and adjust that, whatever kind of discount you want to give your client. So there you have um, your invoice. You can go in and preview. This is what your client will see. And then they will be able to just pay it. They'll have the option of um, when it comes into them, they'll be able to click on a button that says pay now and then their options credit card bank account whatever so there is that save and send 
save and record payment. So if you received a check for someone, you can just save and record it automatically, or you can just go ahead and send it to the client you just set up inside the add a customer here. While we're on here, let's go in and um, I'm gonna show you how to customize your invoice so it's branded to your company. So you can see here I have this, this, I have my logo at the bottom, my address, etc. So to do that, you're just gonna go down here to <clears throat> settings. I can leave this because I'm not gonna save it. You can go general settings, invoice customization, and this is really where you can customize everything that you that you have in your account. So I'm just using the modern, I upload my company logo, choose the color, I choose to display the logo, and here is the information that I put on my invoice. Okay, and then the estimate settings, you can fill this out, you can choose the invoice column settings, etc. So that is all under settings here, invoice customizations. Let's go back, go on to number three of setting up a quote. If you're just trying to, client asks you, can I get a quote on how much this would be? No problem. And what I love about this is you can use it for any industry. So whether you're a hair salon, whether you're a um, landscaper, pool cleaner, whatever, you can use this, this software. So go to number three, setting up a quote. You're just gonna go to sales and it's called estimates. So I again, I don't have anything current right now, but I can go create an estimate. Okay, choose the customer that I wanna send this quote to, and you can always add a new customer, and then choose my product. Let's say I can do this, and of course that's just a default that you set up your product. You can change the price at any time, or again, you can add the, um, customer loyalty or you know your discount however you want to set that product up and then you can save it oh I gotta choose a customer let's just choose right here save and now here is the in the estimate or the quote that I'm gonna send off to my client okay if they say we're good to go I love it you can actually convert it to an invoice so they can pay for this quote and then you can look customer view. This is what they will, this is what it will look like. So it's really nice and clean. I really like um, how it is used. So going on to number four, receipts. And I use the receipts feature a lot on my mobile app, but uh, I will talk about that the, the, next, the next video or at a later time. Today is just the desktop version. <clears throat> but you can get into go into your app store, Google uh, store, download the Wave app and log in and you, you can play around with that. But anyways, go to receipts, purchases, and then there's where you can set up the bills, all those things, but we're not getting into that today. You're gonna just go to receipts. So you can see here is all the receipts that I've had. You can adjust those or you can upload a receipt and if you've scanned it in or you've taken a picture or whatever, you can upload the receipt here or on your mobile app, you can just take a picture of that receipt, which is a lot more efficient, I think, um, and quicker. So that's how I do it with the, the mobile app. Now, the last thing is I'm going to go to reports. So this is pretty cool without getting into all of my personal financials. Um, go through here and you can see balance sheet and they just give you a summary, a quick excerpt of what each one does. Okay. So income statement, income minus expenses tells you if you bought in more than, tells you if you brought in more than you spent. So the income statement is good because you can see exactly what you, um, took home at the end of the year. Um, balance sheet, sales tax report. So this is where the reports are. You can even go into income by customer. So how much did um, customer X pay you this year? And you can of course send your client reports as well. So if they ever ask you for those reports. So that is really a summary of what Wave Apps does, the, a lot of the important features for it and how I use it. So with that said, um, there you have it, there's Wave Apps. So 
check it out if you need a if you need a payment processor if you need um, a if you need a software that will handle all of your financials this I, I recommend this one well there you have it that is wave apps you can also get it on the uh, the mobile app which you can use to take pictures of receipts and upload them and send reminders for invoices that you have out I hope you uh, it, it, try it out and if you have any questions get a hold of me and I'd be and I'd love to help you out so uh, have a good week and see you next time